Believe it or not, these two newborns are genetically identical twins and they were very lucky to be born alive. So what happened to these two in the womb? They are survivors of a condition called twin-twin transfusion syndrome, a unique disease that only affects twins that share a single placenta. You could think of it as a very early form of sibling rivalry. If there is a net imbalance in the circulation within the placenta, then severe discrepancies in fetal growth and blood volume can result. Untreated, this disease usually results in the death of one or both twins. We can now treat this condition during pregnancy with laser surgery to the placenta, but this amazing advance is by no means a magic cure. Survivors of this condition are still at increased risk for serious complications such as intellectual disability, cerebral palsy and cardiac defects. Preventing these long-term complications is a major challenge for clinicians because we still don't understand the disease process adequately. The aim of my research was to use powerful new techniques in molecular biology to better understand how twin-twin transfusion syndrome disrupts fetal development. Functional genomics is a branch of genetics that allows us to identify the many thousands of genes that are switched on or off in a particular disease state, in contrast to traditional experiments that focus on a single gene. Fortunately, we have ready access to fetal genetic material via amniotic fluid. This is the liquid that surrounds the fetus while in the womb, and it is routinely drained off and discarded at the beginning of laser surgery for twin-twin transfusion syndrome. I therefore aimed to literally rescue this precious resource from the garbage bin so that I could use it to study the molecular mechanisms involved in this condition. Performing functional genomic analysis of this amniotic fluid has allowed me to identify specific nervous system and cardiovascular system pathways that are dysregulated in fetuses with twin-twin transfusion syndrome. This new information not only gives us insight into the origins of the long-term complications, it could also help us develop future prognostic tests and develop novel treatment strategies. Furthermore, the implications of this work reach far beyond twin-twin transfusion syndrome because we can use the methods to study other, more common disorders of fetal development. As an obstetrician, I hope that one day this work will allow me to reassure women expecting twins that they need not worry about sibling rivalry, at least until after birth. <laughs>